Hey, how's it going everybody? Welcome back to the Who's Number One vlog. We're in the airport now. We're headed to Mount Vernon, Illinois to go check in on Daisy Fresh. Well, we got four people from the team. The only one we're gonna see there, I think, is Couch, because Dante and the Moose Adventures are pumping. Also, we'll see in uh, Couch, we're doing ACC trials. So there's gonna be a lot of people training hard there. Can't wait. Definitely, you guys have seen the Daisy Fresh documentary, so there's gonna be a little bit of behind the scenes. You might get to see a little bit of how that's filmed, so make sure and stay tuned. We gotta go sit in the back. That's what a rookie says. The vet's up there. Keep up with them all, man. It's a fucking uh, new set of about three different, yeah. five, three well, to five different vehicles every day in this month. Yeah, yeah. I don't know who anybody is. I was telling Heath earlier. I said Everybody if, says, hey, if I talk to them and they haven't been here a couple months, I just assume they're not going to be here next time I come. Yeah, that's how it goes. Usually, <laughs> you know, their uh, their uncle's pet goldfish usually dies or something like that. Something happens. They have a storage unit now, courtesy of. Well, Andrew bought all the shit, all the shit to buy it, but he made everyone else build it. So I guess that's fair though. You get a storage unit. Got air mattresses, pillows, random mattresses for no reason. Yeah. With a lock too, just so nobody doesn't steal it. Hell uh, yeah. Over here, the old Andrew Wilty house. Been passed on. Oh God. Let's see what he's doing. Hold on, let me not. Jordan! Jordan, we coming in. Hello? You in there? He probably doing something. Jordan! You in there? What's up? <laughs> oh, you, you was asleep? Yeah. You was asleep, huh? Yeah. How's it? Oh, it's a little rough. Oh, yes. You guys can't see that. I'm going to leave you alone. Go back yeah. to sleep. I'm going to leave him alone. I ain't even going to take you in there. That's disrespectful. <laughs> What's going on? That boy's yeah, asleep. Man. That boy's asleep, for real. <laughs> Knee cut killer right here. What's you up to, man? You been in here for a while? I've been sitting in the car Since, right there. I had no idea you were even oh, here yeah. watching TV and shit. Yeah, I've just been doing my laundry and shit from uh, the trip we just had. George bought it first. I don't actually know how long he had it. It actually ran when George had it. And then he sold it to Wayne. He sold it to me for 400 bucks. And I moved it here. It doesn't even run right now. I, I, it's just like minor things like a oil and a starter, but... This is my car right here, so I don't even need it to run. Took that seat out so I'd have more room. The passenger seat's gone. Put my TV there, and this is a queen-size Tempur-Pedic mattress, so. And then I added these two ACs. Added a couple of them. <laughs> <laughs> Hell yeah. Didn't have any of those in here before. Hell yeah, common hardware around these parts. <laughs> common hardware. Someone was telling me there's like eight people, there's different couples living out here. Oh yeah, we got like uh, two new sets of couples. I think, I mean, they, they come, it's like there's new and then people leave, so but there's been about two or three of them out. I don't know how I would do living in a, in a vehicle with somebody else. She's a buzzer. What the fuck? You really? Ooh. Hey, ain't that expensive. What the fuck did they give you in Brazil, dude? Jesus Christ. Got your hoe on payroll. She's like queso. No, I keep her not. Don't get popped like Fago. And she bad as fuck. Tied it up like Fabo. Rick and, Rick and Morty, no drink. Got your hoe on payroll. She's like queso. No, I keep her not. Don't get popped like Fago. And she bad as fuck. Tied it up like Fabo. All right. Sorry to interrupt the video. Quick editor's note. But originally when we filmed this, Jacob Couch was scheduled to fight Nikki Ryan. But Nikki Ryan has pulled out with a knee injury. Sears, you got any you got any more uh, news on what's going on with Nikki Ryan or what's going on with uh, Jacob Couch's yeah, match? I was looking for a new opponent for Couch. Hit up a few people last night. I had been talking with Gordon Ryan for a while about his return. He's feeling healthy. He volunteered to step in. Couch said, no problem. This dude, they're doing 30 minutes. Couch is ready for the opportunity. He's not scared like a lot of people are. Gordon Ryan is back in on his first real match, getting ready for ADCC. That's the new headline. Gordon, who's number one? Tezos, who's number one? Gordon Ryan versus Jacob Couch. Perfect. Now back to the video. How's class going to go today? The same every day. It's almost the same every day. So we just start out, we hand five for about ten minutes, then we do positional sparring, and uh, guard, close guard, butterfly guard, etc. Put the guys in bad positions, good positions, and then we'll go into uh, doing live rounds. Live rounds, ready?
Zaid, Jared, Zaid, you, you. I'm looking for somebody else. I'm skinny right now. All right, come on. Put your fucking shirt on, bitch. Don't put that in there. That's bad. I can't. I'm not supposed to be cursing like that. Put your put your freaking shirt on, bro. Put that. That's good. <laughs> To have that, it's uh, we're the the main event, co-main event, three and four match. So uh, yeah, no, I mean that's exciting. I don't know if anyone's ever done that before, you know, or like have that many people on one. I think people are just learning. Hey, man, this is one of the best teams. It is what it is. Uh, like, a, who can argue at this point? If you are arguing at this point, you know what I mean. You just uh, you probably shit talker. You know, you know, it, it is what it is though. But yeah, it's it's awesome to have four people in the main slots on the card, biggest card. You know, in, in the United States, in the world, it's 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 really uh, important to me as a coach and the guys. So you know, we we value it incredibly. So being in those four slots is amazing. Oh,